Hey, good morning, guys. Well, we are about halfway through September. And I got to tell you, this freaking beard is driving me crazy. How do you people out there deal with beards? I haven't shaved since the beginning of November. I don't know, guys. I don't think I'm going to make it. So guys, ironically enough, have you ever heard of the mental age test before? Well, I really hadn't either, but somebody kind of sparked my interest. And on Twitter, they said, hey, have you ever taken the mental age test? I, I wonder where you would fall because I kind of look at things pretty youthfully, I guess. Anyways, just to let you guys know, if you didn't know, I'm 47 years old, and you could probably tell by my wisdom whiskers here that I'm getting a little gray. Anyways, I'm 47 years old, so I figured I was a little reluctant. I was like, should I really take this test? Because what if I says I'm 65 or something? I had no idea. So anyways, I, I went online and I found the mental age test, and I went ahead and I answered very truthfully and very honest. I'd say it's about 12 or 15 questions, something like that. And uh, I'm going to give you guys a second. Go down below it and tell me what you think. Me, Brian Barczyk, 47 years old, what age I tested in the mental age test. Go ahead. I'm going back to work. So guys, uh, I don't want to keep on you know, kind of beating a dead horse when it comes to the loss of my girl Sunshine because quite frankly, I want this vlog to be as uplifting of a vlog as I possibly can get. But that being said, there are still some areas that I need closure in. And one of the things is, is that her cage here, uh, this cage is where she always lived. Um, we've done a really good job of, of cleaning out, actually a couple times to be honest with you. And I just did another disinfect. I don't think that there was any disease or anything like that, but I wanna make sure that the cage is completely clean because it's gonna have a new inhabitant tonight. So uh, just gotta put some, cape, some paper in here and then I'll show you what's going on. And of course, that new girl that's going in the cage is gonna be Daisy. And uh, I've talked about Daisy recently is how she was really just kind of winning over my heart and uh, it's kind of a little bit of an ironic thing in a way because I've had Daisy for quite a few years and I've always loved her, but she was never like one of those snakes that I took out and played with a lot up until recently. And, and in a weird way, you know, I wonder about that. You know what I mean? Like all of a sudden I found this, this beautiful temperamented reticulated python that I just fell in love with. And then shortly thereafter, sunshine goes. So. I don't know if it's fate. I certainly wouldn't have wanted to play out that way, but I'm just really happy and blessed that I have an animal that I, you know, certainly don't have the same bond that I had with Sunshine, but still is an amazing animal. And I hope I can work with her more and that when I go to kids shows, you know, Daisy will be the one that I can pull out. She certainly doesn't have the temperament of Sunshine, but I hope that she can certainly kind of fill a little bit of that void. Not not replace, but fill it. So anyways, Daisy was in a six foot cage. And of course, Sunshine had an eight foot cage. So now the good thing is that Daisy is gonna have an opportunity to have even a larger cage, which is just gonna be great for her. So I can't wait to get her inside here. There you go, Daisy. There's your new cage, girl. So I hope that she's gonna love it and really enjoy the extra space. <sighs> Look at how gorgeous she looks in there. She looks so small in this big cage. <laughs> That's awesome, you know, I mean, that really puts a smile on my face. Um, in, in her other cage, I wasn't able to see her as much because there wasn't as much window space. So, gosh, she just looks so pretty in this cage, you know, and, uh, Oh my gosh, that's, 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 that's pretty awesome. Man, I wish I could be reading. 
reading the comments right now. Well, I kind of am reading the comments right now, but not while I'm filming, just you get the idea. I'll be reading the comments while you guys are watching, but whatever. I just can't wait to hear what you guys think I am mentally. I mean, are you going to think I should be like 12 or, or, or 6? I, it doesn't matter. Keep, keep coming. I'm, I'm going to tell you. Don't worry. So guys, I wonder, how do you feel about age? I mean, uh, you know, I know YouTube is a young audience. Uh, I'm sure there's some of you that are hanging out that are, you know, 10 years old or 12 years old, and some of you that are in your 40s and 50s. I mean, so what is it? I mean, do you think of your age and you think that's the way you should act? Or do you think of age as just a number and it doesn't really matter, right? You know, I mean, are you... 30 and feel like you're 18? Or are you 21 and feel like you're 40? I, I don't know. I've always felt really young. And uh, yeah, I know I haven't told you my, my age yet. Don't worry. It's coming. I tell you, I freaking love sand boas, and, and uh, there's so many different ones. Look at these things here. These are the, the Indian smooth scale sand boas. These are Eric's Johnny. And, uh, you know, guys, I mean, that is just such a cool animal. I mean, I, you know, sand boas are, are an animal, I think, that don't get enough credit for being pretty awesome. I mean, if you're ever thinking about a, a boa, a live-bearing boa, um, sand boas are a great option. I mean, this is a, again, this is an adult here. They'll get a little bit larger, but pretty much it's an adult. And, and listen, you know, I know it's not the most colorful animal. I mean, it's just kind of a drab, brownish color. But but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And, and we work with some, here, let's go look at some other ones we work with. I mean, we work with a handful of other sand boas, too, that are really neat. You know, I mean, there's like, you know, here's like the, the, the this, this is the, John I but the sunset version of the John I and you can see it's much more colorful than the just the drab brown ones Although I like the brown ones, but that one is kind of a little bit more interesting looking and of course there's you know There's Kenyan sand boas like these guys look at how gorgeous that is <laughs> And uh, I mean they're just really really cool animals man. I love Kenyan sand boas They're super neat and then of course we have uh, what they call javelin sand boas or, or, or uh, Jaculus these are javelin sand boas boas um so they're really cool as well kind of similar to a kenyan but of course different different color and pattern and then there's even rough scale sand boas like right here which are the the conicus or rough scale sand boas right there and these guys only have smaller litters you know maybe eight to ten babies at the most and very often they'll only have sometimes three or four babies but uh there's a whole bunch of other uh you know types of sand boas as well you know obviously there's russians and and you know you name it there's a whole bunch of different sand boas so if you're ever thinking about sand boas it's a great option um because there's a lot of different colors and flavors and patterns and all kinds of stuff so Anyways, I, I, that was a little diatribe about sand boas. I was just looking at them and thought, man, I got to share with you guys. Those things are awesome. All right. So it's been a while since I've sat down at my desk here and had a serious talk with you guys. So here we go. Uh, I, you know, I wanted to really talk about how much this whole life means to me. This, this new vlogging. I've been YouTubing for 10 years now. Every single Wednesday for 10 years this coming February as a matter of fact and, and it's been amazing but this vlog lifestyle has kind of changed my whole perspective on things you know I look at you guys as it's it's really family it's part of my community a part of my life in so many ways you know I know it may seem weird to you to think that talking to you guys like I am now is therapeutic for me uh, but it's not just sitting down and talking to you guys it's reading your comments you guys cheer me up you inspire me you you get me um fired up to want to do more with my life you know i think that you know as i'm trying to talk to you guys about inspiration and and creating curiosity and and just showing you how i deal with all the things that i do in turn you guys may not understand that you're helping me too does that make sense i mean literally i know when when people comment and say I never really comment on videos, but but I'm going to make a comment about this particular video for you. That means the world to me. That means that I've engaged you into something and, and, and drawn you into where you want to be part of what we do here or what my life is about. So I wanted to thank you about that, and I wanted you to understand how important each and every one of you are to me, right? So it's not just me here making a show. It's me sharing my life 
with you guys and and if you feel like you want to come along on that journey with me that means that you're a part of my life in a weird way you know there are friends of mine from Twitter that I consider very good friends that are over in the UK that I've never met I've never even talked to on the phone but we engage each other constantly through talk on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or whatever it might be and and they become really close friends of mine. It's it's a great world that we live in now. We've kind of erased the borders. We've we've opened the world up because of technology. And as a matter of fact, just the other day someone commented and said, I'm not sure how old you are, but um, but you sure do love social media. And for someone that's your age, that's unusual. And, and I thought, maybe it's unusual, but the fact is, is that you know, I just love it. You know, I love everything about it. So anyways, I don't want to ramble on anymore. My point is I want to sit down and have a little one-on-one -on -one time with you guys and just thank you for not only watching and subscribing, but also commenting and sharing and favoriting. Every action you do for me helps this grow and helps our community grow. So you are as much a part of this as I am. And I just want to thank you for it. <clears throat> All right, so guys, it's been a super long day, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am getting out of here and enjoying the rest of my night. <laughs> you guys thought that I forgot, right? For you guys that clicked out, sorry. All right, my mental age test said I was 23 years old, so what does that mean? I don't know. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. You have a good one.